welcome back to the series where we are playing career mode on every FIFA. Today's episode, every single FIFA career mode on the PlayStation 3. Some would say this is the best console for career mode of all time, so I'm going to be the judge of that. If you missed last episode, we played every single FIFA on the PlayStation 2. Up next is PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5, so make sure you're subscribed. Let's begin. FIFA 2008. It received a 7.9 out of 10 by IGN. The top three players were Ronaldinho, Cristiano Ronaldo, and Thierry Henry. And the best song, in my opinion, was Goodbye, Mr. A by the Hoosiers. And I need for you to comment your favorite song from this FIFA. I'm trying to build the ultimate FIFA soundtrack for you guys to listen to when the new EAFC game comes out. So comment your favorite FIFA songs for me to add to the playlist, which you can follow with the link in the description. And the first FIFA of this episode, FIFA 08 with Ronaldinho on the cover get ready for the nostalgia to kick in and it takes you immediately into the practice arena oh my god man this makes me want to cry this is so beautiful does anyone remember these days i have to score a banger with dino come on oh no tap in i'm a, I'm a tap in merchant and this is what the menu looked like in fifa 2008 this might be my favorite fifa menu of all time i wish ea would go back to this old way of like being able to just go from the main menu and then just have a kick around like it's it's that quick also just having this city as well to look at this is no this is by far the best fifa menu ever let's get into what you came here for manager mode so finally you get to select any team you want in career mode if you remember from the last episode in playstation 2 you could only choose from a few sort of starter teams that were a little bit lower in quality. We're back to the Premier League for this episode and we are going to be managing Chelsea. And we got our manager, Mr. B Ford. Season objective, win the league. Now, as you guys know how this series works is we are on a nostalgic trip. So for each FIFA, we're loading into a career mode, not playing the entire career mode, but more exploring. And we'll have one challenge to complete for each FIFA. But before we know that challenge, we need to sign our contract. And I think, I think we've just, I think we've signed. The newspaper articles are back, Mr. B for it has been named a manager at Chelsea. All right, we got some new emails, but we do not have the same laptop that we had in the PlayStation 2 versions of FIFA. We just have this screen right here. All right, an email from the boss explaining how the experience points work in career mode. This is a new addition in FIFA 08. And sponsorships are back. We talked about it last episode. This is a feature. I, I can't believe they took out that. I can't believe EA have removed this feature. All right, so tons of sponsors to choose from. All fake companies were we're obviously going to go for the one that pays us the most money. <laughs> Roberto's Pizzeria. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Do I go for Lunar Entertainment, who's paying me one million, or the nice family pizzeria? They can't pay as much, but I love pizza, so I'm going with Roberto's Pizzeria. <laughs> they give you challenges as well. Become the league champion, win a domestic cup, no Whoa. extra bonuses. It's all right. Roberto's Pizzeria does not have as much money as Lunar Entertainment, apparently. And they also want us to finish in the top half of the loyalty qualifier. What is that? And here is the FIFA 2000 2008 career mode menu. So you get to see your next matchup. You get to see your budget. We have 129 million with Chelsea. You get to see manager prestige, job security, fan appreciation, and team chemistry. All right, let's see who was on Chelsea during this time. Um, wait, what? Is this our team? No, this is this has to be the Youth Academy, right? Yeah, this is definitely the Youth Academy. Here are the players we're looking for. Petr Cech, 89 overall. John Terry was in 89. Oh, Drogba, 87. Essien, I've met him in real life. Absolute legend. Such a nice dude. Lamp Hard. I'm sorry. I just feel the need to flex like that now. Anytime I see a player in FIFA that I've met in real life, I always have to say it. I'm sorry. <laughs> we got Balak. We got Joe Cole. I've also met Joe Cole too. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I promise I'm done. Ashley Cole, Chevchenko. Chelsea were so good. I could just sit here and play around on the menus like all day just to explore what old FIFA had to offer. This is what the transfer market looked like. You could actually go in and see which clubs have listed players and bid for them. This is what the scouting screen used to look like we have the old fifa calendar what the table used to look like also what it was called the barclays premier league also back in fifa 08 the way they tracked stats was just so good check this out so they had a athletic performance tab where you could track all of the players attacking defensive skill power mentality which is basically real stats for how these players actually perform in your career mode so you can track their progress just because players 89 rated maybe he's not performing on the pitch and if he is it you can see here seasonal performance you can obviously track goals gold percentage shots on target total shots shots on target percentage it's crazy to think
think that that's a feature that EA have since removed from career mode. And then we have the staff upgrade screen, which brings us to our challenge for this FIFA. We are going to do what Chelsea should do in real life. Stop spending money on players and start upgrading the system. We are going to take the $129 million budget we have in a build the best staff of all time. Okay, first off, look at this. In the top right-hand corner, you can change how much ticket prices are. High, <laughs> low, or medium. All right, Chelsea was insane back then. High, bro. To see all of these legends, yes. All right, so right in the budget, you can see the upgrade costs. So it's going to be about a million to upgrade our attacking every time we want to do it. And it's only at a four out of 10. Let's spend all of this budget building the best staff of all time. So I'd hope with 128 mil, I can max everything out. Let's see. 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. Come on. I better have enough money to do this. 10 out of 10. You have insufficient funds. No. All right, so I got a little bit ahead of myself. Here's what each one means. So if you upgrade attacking, it focuses on training for strikers, obviously midfielder, training for midfielders, for defenser, defenders, for goalkeepers. So fitness like upgrades your players strength, obviously stamina. So we have a 10 out of 10 scout now, which means I'm sure our youth academy is going to be crazy. 10 out of 10 negotiator upgrading your negotiations so that you bring better talent to the club. So we'll just pay less for players, I guess, which Chelsea definitely need in real life right now. Now the stadium manager, we weren't able to max out this invest in your stadium manager to increase your stadium size. If you cannot fit all of your fans, you're losing ticket sales. So we're at eight out of 10 right now. And I, I want to upgrade it more, but the next upgrade costs 50 billion. Are you sure you want to implement these proposed staff upgrades? <sighs> we just spent over 100 million. Yeah, I'm sure. All right, we're going to sim one match just to see the effect that had. This is the FA Cup Community Shield. We got the dub. Let's go. And after all said and done with ticket sales, player wages, the sponsor payout, and tournament bonus, we are left with 256,000. Shout out Roberto's Pizzeria for giving us that 400K. Now, remember, I'm ranking every FIFA career mode from the GOAT all the way down to the worst of all time. Stay tuned for the end of the episode to see where I rank all of these FIFAs. But I will say, though, FIFA 2000. 2008 was pretty incredible. So many features in this game that are no longer in FIFA that I'm still confused as to why EA removed. FIFA 2009, given an 8.9 out of 10 rating by IGN. That's the highest we've seen yet. Its top three players were Casillas, Ronaldo, and Messi. And the best song, Kids by MGMT. All right, you need to drop your favorite FIFA song so I can add it to my Spotify playlist. But let's be honest, Kids is one of the best of all time. You better say that song. It's so good. Follow the playlist on Spotify. Link in the description. Another year of running. Ronaldinho on the cover. And yet another amazing practice arena to load into. Although this looks like the exact same one from FIFA 2008. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is exactly the same. Boys, I'm gonna be giving my honest rating on all these career modes. I'm gonna tell it how it is. If EA go on and just copy and paste the same thing from year to year, it's gonna put that FIFA lower on my ranking, which we'll get to at the end of the video. Menu, pretty similar to FIFA 08 as well. This was also the first FIFA with ultimate team as well, which means bad things coming from for career mode, but we'll, we'll get into that later. We're obviously loading in to a brand new career mode. We're going to go with Barcelona this time. Screens are slightly different to create your manager. So this is interesting. Player auto growth. Players grow and evolve in management by earning experience points. Turn the setting off if you want to manually assign experience points earned or leave it on. Let the game do it for you. I'm, I'm going to select no, and we're going to train these players on our own. Wait, we have trivia. Hold on. What year was Club America founded? I'm going to go... Uh, oh, it was A. And sponsorships are back yet again. There's showing a little bit differently. Yo, where's my pizza come? Wait, so we only have three sponsors this time. See, I'll never get that in the last FIFA. You had a full list to choose from. Now you have three. All right, let's throw Spotify in there. We're, 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 gonna, we're gonna be sponsored by Spotify. New face, Mr. B Ford has been named as the manager at Barcelona. Come on. Wait, it's actually crazy. Spotify is like one of Barcelona's biggest sponsors in real life, and now they're sponsoring our series and our channel. Boys, freaking follow the playlist down below. Support Spotify, support the channel. Freaking legends. That's so cool man. Oh, more trivia. When did Houston Dynamo put their first game? Um, I'm gonna go to the C. C. Going C. Come on. A little bit different looking menu this time. And I will say, I do like this menu a bit more. Are we actually starting the season with an El Clasico? My God. We also have a brand new squad screen as well. Things look a bit different here. And I really don't like this one. I like when I was able to see the player's faces. I think you have to, yeah, you actually have to click on the player to see to see their face. We have Danny Alves here. The nostalgia is hitting, man. Retro Barca, Puyo, Iniesta. We have Xavi, Messi. Look at Messi with the long hair. I, I love it. I love it. They got Edzo, Thierry Henry. Who else, man? Bojan. Now, fun fact, he is one of the top wonder kids in this FIFA. 92 potential. Yo, this is crazy. 21-year-old PK. Wow. It's just so weird looking back 
at these players when they were younger. Like, yeah, let's go back to Messi. This is when Messi was 21 years old as well. That's crazy. I can't even imagine Messi at 21. When FIFA 2009 was out, I wasn't even a football fan at this point. So I will say overall, FIFA 2009 is very similar to FIFA 2008 in career mode. But our challenge for this FIFA is to test this new player training upgrade system. And here it is, the player growth screen. This seems like one of the bigger additions. So as you can see, I currently have zero experience points. So I I can't train anyone. But when I do get experience points, which hopefully I will soon, I would click on a player like Messi and you can go upgrade their attack, their defense, their skill, their power, their movement, their mentality, or their goalkeeping abilities. Yes, if I really wanted to in FIFA 2009, I could make Messi the greatest goalkeeper to ever live. All right, hopefully if I sim El Clasico, we will get some experience points to use. And I simmed El Clasico and we lost El Clasico. Now again, I know this was the same in FIFA 2008, but still, I love this in the old FIFAs. The fact that after each game, you can either earn money or lose money depending on the ticket sales, the sponsors, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And now we actually have team experience points. After each match, it looks like you accrue experience. Makes sense. You play a game, you get XP. So this is so sick. I didn't even get this far last time. You can click on each individual. So start with attack and I could just go and upgrade Messi's finishing. If I had 189 experience, which I don't, I only have 126. So we could go for a weak foot right here. We could go plus one to the weak foot. Bro, this is so, this is so cool. The fact that you could individually upgrade players has made this game go so high on my ranking. Now I didn't actually spend any on Messi. I'm going to go to Bojan here. This is again, one of the top wonder kids on our team. Oh, even he costs so much. Much, like finishing 192. Although it seems like a lot was copy and pasted over from FIFA 2008, this game still was awesome. Wait till the end of the episode to see where I rank it on my list and what's up next? FIFA 2010. The game was rated a 9 out of 10 by IGN. The top three players were Lionel Messi, Casillas, and Wayne Rooney. And the best song, in my opinion, was Daylight by Kim and Matt. A lot of good songs from this soundtrack. Comment your favorite down below. All right, we're done with Ronaldinho on the front. Now we have Wayne Rooney and a new look look for the practice arena in FIFA 10. Can we please get a petition for EA to bring this back for EAFC? And this could have been in FIFA 08 or FIFA 09, but you could kind of customize the practice arena. There were a few to choose from. So North America, okay, so maybe you could have done this in the past FIFAs. I might have just missed it. They had the North America one. That was That's the one we saw in FIFA 08 and FIFA 09. We have South America. We have a Mediterranean one, Eastern European, Southern. Wow, they had so many options. United Kingdom, a the Asia one is sick. Or you could just go random. You had multiple options in FIFA 10 and nowadays there's a practice arena but it's it's so mid here we go the FIFA 2010 main menu so in FIFA 10 I, I believe this is new we have virtual pro I think FIFA 10 was officially the start of the player career mode yes it is we have welcome to be a pro so I wasn't even called my player back then it was called be a pro you got take control of your virtual pro or a real life player you'll be able to play unique view grow your player compete for different clubs get called to the national team this series is about men manager mode not be a player but we might have to check out both to be honest you know what? let's do it Let, let's try the my player let's start with that and then we'll go to the manager mode and let's go for tottenham this fifa they only had an 82 rated striker in keen time to create a player we have you know what? should we just go with the default we have kieran bartley i kind of i kind of like that or we could get rid of him and just completely randomize gillis davies let's go for that i've randomized his look and height and he's six foot seven we're building the new peter crouch here welcome in four years the be a pro international couple to decide the best nation will gillis davies become a legend all right so we start by looking at our club objectives and the main menu we're a 48 overall oh my god but we do have xp to upgrade our player and we have 10,000 xp available also you can see your levels as well for your club and national team we are unnoticed by the national team and a reserve player for tottenham wow i didn't know this used to be a feature you can actually upgrade your player how you want to upgrade him uh, so he's a 48 now let's just see how many first off we're just gonna to throw everything almost everything into finishing oh my god 91 finishing only cost us 1500 experience he's tall so we got to get that heading accuracy up as well i gotta get some pace on this dude let's go 85 excel oh this might cost me everything 85 acceleration 85 sprint speed for a six foot seven tall player and the rest let's throw on dribbling that has taken us to a 59 overall not bad so again i don't want to spend too much time on the player career mode i kind of just want to peep around see what this game would have this was the first year that my player was in 
the game. This is a cool feature. So they have team management. And if you click on it, you can't access team management until you become team captain. Then you can be the player and control the team as well. We'll get to manager mode in a second, but I think our objective is clear for FIFA 10. Score a goal with Gillis Davies. All right, we have our match day objectives. Look at the retro Spurs kit. What sponsor is that? Now we get the loaded to take shots before. Why are we number 80? Who gave us number 80? All right, so I know these graphics are not what they are today, but there's something about these old graphics. Oh man, I just, I, I, I like it. I like going back and looking at what, what they once were. All right, Davies, let's go. My God, you are so tall. All right, we're calling for the through ball. All we need to do is score one goal. That's it. Hey, we're reliving every FIFA in old FIFAs. Well, let's just say they had a lot of issues. <laughs> What am I, what am I meant to do? No, I'm losing positioning. Come on. What am I meant to do here? I guess there's only one thing to do. Request a sub. Um, yep. Yep. I have to. <laughs> Gillis was subbed out. Tottenham only managed one, one drop. But what about, what was I meant to do? What was I meant to do there? All right, let's try this again. Oh, yo, it's Gareth Bale. I forgot he was on Spurs. I think he's our captain. Game work for me this time, please. Come on, Davies. He's in. You're scoring this. You're scoring oh. this. And we're back. All right, the challenge for FIFA 10 is just, it's just failed at this point. So you still have to check out manager mode in FIFA 10 and we are gonna go to it with Inter. And all I'm seeing here is pretty much the exact same loading screen as FIFA 09. We got ourselves a new magazine article though. Get to choose a sponsor again. No Roberto's Pizza though. And a very different look from the menu. So the menus were just slightly changing from each FIFA. To give you our schedule, we can actually view the squad as well straight from the menu with only like a few clicks. We can see the players that we've transfer list the confirmed transfers transfer rumors as well that's cool here's the inter team in fifa 10 we got julio cesar another player that i've met with and actually played fifa against in real life kind of cool we got mike on lucio we have so many sick players here oh balotelli <laughs> wait Eto's 93 wait when i was doing my research it must be his upgraded rating because messi is the top rated player at 90 in this game from what i've learned bro wesley snyder on the reserves zanetti on the reserves player growth feature was still in the game and it looked a little bit different this time you you can actually see how their growth on overall trends over time. And you have a manager career summary. Nice like list of stats as well that you can track throughout the course of your career. For the most part, pretty similar to FIFA 09, but still a very good FIFA in my opinion. So far for the FIFAs on the PlayStation 3, I feel like we're off to a good start. I'm having fun. These FIFAs were really good. It's time for a bonus FIFA. FIFA 2010 World Cup Edition. So our main focus is career mode. And although this doesn't have an official career mode mode, I feel like it's only right that we include all of the World Cup games. EA used to actually go out of their way to make a brand new game for the World Cup. Oh my God. This might be the best FIFA of all time. I'm not even gonna lie. And although there wasn't an official soundtrack for this game, there obviously is an official soundtrack for the World Cup. So why not? Come at your favorite World Cup songs and we will add them to our Spotify playlist. It's only right. Let's do a mix of FIFA video game songs and FIFA World Cup songs. So you had two options for this game. You had Captain Your Country, which is pretty much my player or 2010 FIFA World Cup, which is like career mode. You just get to take control of an entire country. So we're going to go for managing an entire country and you get the option to start at the qualification rounds. Um, you can start just at the World Cup with the groups that they had in real life, which um, I think I think we'll, we'll go for that just as an example. And it's time to choose our country. So I, I wish we could sit here and play the entire World Cup. Who should I go for, man? This was one of the first FIFAs I ever played. Now, I didn't actually have this game. I, I ended up getting it later on. I played the version on the iPhone, though. Like, they had an iPhone version of this game and I played I played it so much. This was though the year that I started watching football because of this World Cup and it was because of the USA national team so I have to go for the USA. And here are the group. USA was with England, Algeria, Slovenia. USA made it through as well. And next up we get to go in and choose our 23 man squad. I'm probably just going to keep it as it is. That's my boy Landon Donovan bro scored one of the greatest goals of all time in my opinion obviously to get the US out of the group bro. That's what got me into football man. And this Nostalgia's coming back. I love this series so much. Bro, the menus, like the loading screens, the menu was like an actual website. The practice arena as well. Just a South African pitch with the mountains in the background. I'm actually in love with this game. You get to see your team status, the world rankings, top goal scores. We're going to keep this one short since it is a bonus FIFA. This might be the first FIFA though I put in the GOAT category. FIFA 2011. Rated a 9.5 out of 10 by IGN. The top three players were Messi, Ronaldo, and David Villa. As 
for the best song of my opinion it's i can talk by two door cinema club i think it could be one of the most underrated songs in fifa history as for your favorite song remember to leave a comment the spotify playlist is slowly but surely filling up so make sure to get your songs in all right fifa 11 we got kaka on the front let's go now a lot of people say that fifa 11 has the best career mode of all time but i'll be the judge of that i feel like i haven't shown these enough like the pre-game cinematics man ea would always go all out for these we got petter check kaka now back to the good old-fashioned practice arena brand new looking menu here and it's time to enter the football world and choose your own path you can be a manager player or a play oh you could become a player manager for the first time this fifa let's find out if this really is the best career mode ever all right so as i mentioned we got our three options player manager player manager we're just we're just sticking to manager the rest of the way out what club do we go for this time man remember we cannot repeat any clubs throughout this series so i'm trying to save some good clubs for later let's do it we're going for real madrid all right we gotta enter our name our nationality board difficulty as well you actually physically get to sign a contract as well only 5800 a week to manage real madrid what I I'm going to do it, obviously. Unproven manager announced. EA upgraded from newspapers to websites now. <laughs> and here is the FIFA 11 career mode menu. Kind of a similar vibe to the FIFA 10 World Cup menu, where it this does look like a website here. We got our options. We have advanced calendar, my career, squad transferred. What is this? Ah, okay, right. This is like the website for Spanish football. We got the Spanish Cup, Liga BBVA, other leagues. Do we have the Champions League? Is the Champions League featured or no so we have the my career tab which shows our history as a manager a new look to the calendar a new way to search for and buy players not gonna lie so far i think fifa 10 even fifa 09 are better than this in my opinion let's check out our squad okay i like these squad screens better you can actually see the player's face again we have casillas we have rob look at ramos's hair <laughs> i love the long hair that fake carvalho marcelo kadira we have a young cristiano ronaldo at right wing Kaka. I want to see this bench because I'm sure there's a lot of... Oh, my God. Benzema. 22-year-old Kareem the Dream. 22-year-old Di Maria. I, I know, like, I shouldn't be surprised. It's like, yes, this is when Di Maria and Benzema were, were young. I don't know why it's shocking me. It's just so weird to see in the game because I'm so used to them, like, being super high rated. Well, maybe not Di Maria anymore, but Benzema. You know what I mean. So the player growth system is back as well. And the assistant coach has, has assessments on all of them. So you can tell when players are almost maxed out, like uh, Iguain almost maxed out he won't grow a lot whoa dude alvaro marata 17 year old wonder kid back then you can see it shows high potential next to him meaning yeah you're gonna be able to train him up obviously 64 rated and 17 years old so i'm gonna give us a tough challenge for fifa 11 i don't know if we're gonna be able to complete it sign messi to real madrid and there he is market value only 79 million we have 147 million let's see if this will work now i know in past fifas it was nearly impossible to sign messi if you're any club to be honest i'm balling out 100 130 million we are sending that offer we got an email transfer offer accepted no way this act no way we reviewed the offer you made for messi and we accept your conditions now we just need messi to accept all right i'm gonna give messi I'm gonna give him a good contract. We're gonna give him a crazy bonus. Figured that would happen. Contract offer declined. We've reviewed your contract offer from agent. We can't agree with your conditions. Thank you for your interest, but please respect that I don't want to enter further negotiations. Reason the player has been playing for this club for a long time. His loyalty is too strong to lure him away. I had a feeling that it was impossible to sign Messi in these older FIFAs, and yeah not gonna happen messy loyal to barca i respect it now personally I, I just feel like fifa 09 and fifa 10 in my opinion i liked a bit more than this and this is all based off just the menu the features stay tuned to the end though to see where they fall in my rankings fifa 2012 the game received a 9.5 out of 10 rating by ign the top players were messi ronaldo and xavi and my favorite song was call it what you want by foster and the people as always drop your favorite song from this game down below and if you haven't gotten on spotify and like the playlist yet what are you doing with your life we are back with wayne rooney on the cover let's go i feel like i do need to do this again to show you more of the introduction some of the graphics here since i'm not necessarily like individually playing the game at every fifa this series is more about the menus and the features as you guys have probably realized by now back with the practice arena if you told me this was still fifa 11 i would believe you well we need to get a new look this fifa with the menus was this the first fifa where it's officially called ultimate team because i feel like i haven't seen it yet ultimate 
team was around since FIFA 09, but this was the FIFA with KSI's legendary Road to Division 1 series as well. When I see the menus, that's like the first thing I think of. I was about to load into career mode, but this popped up. Did you know in FIFA 12, you can download custom leagues from Creation Center? Wait, I actually didn't know this was a feature. I'm pretty sure you could like create your own teams and create your own like legit custom league with custom teams back in the day. Can someone confirm in the comments if that was actually a thing? Oh God, this is the exact same screen we saw in FIFA 11. Is FIFA 12 career mode going to be the exact same as FIFA 11? All right, choosing the team so far. Yes, let's let's go for an MLS team. Bro, it's the same. It's the same. Signing our contract, New York Red Bull. 1,000 per week. That's it. And the menu. Again, if you were to tell me that this was FIFA 11, I would believe you. But this is FIFA 12. Uh, the reason I chose New York Red Bull is because this is when they had Thierry Henry when he made his move to MLS. Right, our challenge for FIFA 12 is find something new about career mode in this game. Because I genuinely think it's a copy and paste from FIFA 11. All right, we do have Youth Academy. I don't know if, if that was... I mean, the, the Youth Academy has always sort of been a thing. Let's go to Scouting Network here. Okay, so the Youth Academy does look a bit different. I'll, I'll give it to them. So that was the quickest challenge we've completed ever. And I definitely recognize this because the scouting system, this is the exact same, I still think, in FIFA 23, right? Maybe it's changed. Maybe FIFA 22? Little disappointed overall by FIFA 12. On to the next game. FIFA 13. The game is rated a 9 out of 10 by IGN. Does IGN just give a high score to every FIFA game? I, I, I need some more honest reviews. These are the honest reviews we need right here. The top three players were Lionel Messi, Cristiano Ronaldo, and Falcao. Top song, in my opinion, We Come Running. As always, give me your favorite song, but dude, We Come Running is one of my favorites of all time, man. Obviously, for copyright reasons, we can't actually play the music, so you have to follow the playlist to listen to it. Even 13, no one's on the... Wait, there's no one. They just stopped putting players on the loading screen? That's that's sad. A review of FIFA 13 might be quick because I don't think anything changed again. And this is the first FIFA that the practice arena on the loading screen, at least, is no more. Very similar menu to FIFA 12. It, it might even just be a, a copy and paste. It seems like once the actual real ultimate team got put into FIFA, EA just got so lazy on the rest of the game. All right, manager career, player career. They got rid of manager slash player career in one. Oh my gosh, it's the exact same. I'm going into it with QPR. Um, So far, this is a copy and paste. Menu, slightly different, but just ever so slightly. So one of the big new features in this game was that you now were able to become an international manager. Other than that, it is literally the exact same. It's crazy just to see how much EA removed from the game when they switched from FIFA 10 to FIFA 11. Like they got rid of all the sponsorships. Like they got rid of upgrading players as well. You can't, you could no longer like gain experience experience to upgrade players. I have no idea why they removed that. Whoa, QPR had Julio Cesar. I completely forgot he played for them. Well, this is awkward. This is maybe the shortest FIFA we've played yet. Bonus FIFA, FIFA 14 World Cup Edition. The last game of this episode. And we're ready to load in the World Cup. Games are my favorite. Legit my favorite FIFA games. This might end up at the GOAT tier. Are you ready for FIFA World Cup Brazil? The last World Cup game that EA made standalone. Meaning the FIFA 18 World Cup and FIFA 22 World Cup, they didn't actually make a new game for. They were just add-ons to the current game. And this is the menu. Oh my God, I love this game so much. So again, you have the career mode, which you get to manage a country, and then the captain, your country, where you get to become the player, which I'm gonna show you for this version. I can't wait to show you how awesome this game mode is. I right, so here's the first screen telling you kind of what you get to do. Grow your attributes, teach your rank, captain your country. So they have their own like talk show radio that talks you through the journey to the World Cup which I quite like. Uh, which nation are we going for? Let's go. Let's go for the host country, Brazil. So you could actually play this game mode with four of your friends. I don't have four friends, so I'm going to do one. All right, we're going to create our own player. You can do an existing player, though, but we're going to go for our own, and we're just going to go for the player they gave us, Eduardo Mendez. Sorry. Menez? Mez Mez I can't speak. All right, so we're make him a striker, and we are going to make sure we make him 6-7 again. It really doesn't matter. We're not actually going to play this. All right, so to start, you need to qualify for the World Cup. Now, it's making us qualify with Brazil. Obviously, Brazil is the host country, meaning they don't have to qualify. The newspaper articles are back, man. I love seeing how these loading screens change from FIFA to FIFA. And here is the menu. Now, this is how the game would work. Now, you have to start by qualifying, and you yourself have to rank up your player, or you may not even make the squad for the World Cup. As you can see, we're currently ranked 48 
in Brazil's standings. These are the players who are on similar levels to me right now, who I'm trying to outcompete for a job. You can see we're basically at the tryout stage. You get bumped up then to the B international on the radar, fringe player all the way up to international, and then being in the 23 man squad, the final 23. The number one player is Thiago Silva, then Neymar, then Danny Alves. For me, this alone makes this game mode one of the best in FIFA history. You have the calendar, you have the tables, and now you just have to work your way up to the World Cup making the squad fifa 14 world cup mode was absolutely god tier and before we end let's give you the updated rankings that i have come up with now these will change and they've already changed since the first episode i've changed the system up a little bit we've kept goat but then we have very good good average meh very bad and then we have a copy and paste section for me at the moment the world cup games i'm i'm very biased here these are my rankings you can rank them on on your own i'll leave the link in the description for that i put fifa 08 in very good just because the jump from playstation 2 to playstation 3 i think ea did such a good job with and then fifa 10 took everything that fifa 08 and fifa 09 did well and just made an amazing game out of fifa 09 i thought was really good very similar to fifa 10 FIFA 11 and FIFA 12 were both very similar. They're just all right. And then, yeah, looking back on FIFA 06 and FIFA 07, which we did in the last episode. But FIFA 07, I'm going to even bump up because they had create a club back then. And I thought FIFA 07 was, FIFA 07 was very good, man. Yeah. But moving up even one more. Now, I'm not going to get ahead of myself. The graphics are terrible. We're going to keep it at good. And then, yeah, FIFA 13 is down there and copy and paste because it was the same as FIFA 12. That was every FIFA career mode on PlayStation 3. Stay tuned because PlayStation 4 is up next.